What allergic asthma and what it's been considered over these years is asthma induced by allergies. The classic example of allergy induced asthma or allergic asthma is I'm allergic to a dog or a cat. I walk into a room with a cat or dog, I play with the cat or dog and then that induces asthma. People with allergy induced asthma also have asthma to other things too. They may also have asthma when they get a cold or a viral induced asthma. And they may also have asthma if they have bad reflux. They may also have asthma if they're exposed to things like cigarette smoke or toxic chemicals. Allergic to asthma has been used for many years to describe people with allergy-induced asthma, but these patients, as we're finding out, are much more complex than that. Allergic asthma, in my mind, is diagnosed a lot clinically. Did they have one or more of these other atopic conditions? And then also you do skin testing to verify that they have allergies. And so what that involves is you bring a patient in the clinic, you uh, take the allergens or uh, little proteins that we think people may be allergic to, for example, cat protein, dog protein, pollens. We dip it into the protein and then we scratch the skin. And then when you scratch the skin, if they're allergic, it'll swell up, become red and itchy. And so really, the diagnosis of allergic asthma is both very much dependent on the clinical history of what they tell the doctor, but then also verified with um, some skin testing. There's also a couple more testing that we do. We do things called Excel nitric oxide, where people breathe out and it measures inflammation. We see that is often elevated with allergic asthma, but it really is still very much dependent on the physician's history and a consideration of the person as an individual. The treatment of allergic asthma it should consist of avoidance. If there's no clear trigger that we can do anything about, like say for example pollens, typically we have a rescue inhaler when they have symptoms, but then also we have a maintenance medication. Hello, this is Mike Weber from the European TCM Laser Academy and today I'd like to share with you some ideas about laser acupuncture in allergic diseases, especially focusing on the atopic eczema. Well, just a few words to myself. I'm a Western-trained medical doctor. From the very beginning of my clinical career, I found out that in the chronic disease, the Western medicine is somehow blinded on one eye. So I started to look into Chinese medicine and I started to look in real cellular physiology. And these are still my main pillars for medical treatments, beside, of course, thinking about the psychosomatic aspects that are very important in allergic diseases, especially in atopic eczema and asthma-like diseases. For a couple of years, I've been medical director of the famous Rottenberg Congress, the biggest congress for Chinese medicine out of uh, Asia. Every year in May, uh, we gather there, and I hope to see some of you there one day, uh, and we'll have uh, lectures about laser on laser acupuncture on a regular way. Well, um, talking about um, laser means talking about different tools to approach this form of disease. 